Johannes Stark, German pronunciation, Johannes Tack, the 15th of April 1874 to the 21st of June 1957, was a German physicist and physics Nobel Prize laureate. He is known for identifying the Stark effect. He was later closely involved with the Deutsche Physik movement under the Nazi regime. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Early years. Born in Schickenhof, Kingdom of Bavaria now Freihung, Stark was educated at the Bayreuth Gymnasium secondary school and later in Regensburg. His collegiate education began at the University of Munich, where he studied physics, mathematics, chemistry, and crystallography. His tenure at that college began in 1894. He graduated in 1897 with his doctoral dissertation titled Untersuchung über Einige physikalische, Vorsuflich optische Eigenschaften des Ruhes, Investigation of some physical, in particular optical properties of soot. Topic: Career Stark worked in various positions at the Physics Institute of his alma mater until 1900, when he became an unsalaried lecturer at the University of Göttingen. An extraordinary professor at Hanover by 1906, in 1908 he became professor at the RWTH Aachen University. He worked and researched at physics departments of several universities, including the University of Greifswald, until 1922. In 1919, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery of the Doppler effect in canal rays and the splitting of spectral lines in electric fields." The latter is known as the Stark effect. From 1933 until his retirement in 1939, Stark was elected president of the Physikalische Technische Reichsanstalt, while also president of the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft. It was Stark who, as the editor of Jarbeck der Radioaktivität und Elektronik, asked in 1907, then still rather unknown, Albert Einstein to write a review article on the principle of relativity. Stark seemed impressed by relativity and Einstein's earlier work when he quoted, "...the principle of relativity formulated by H. A. Lorentz and A. Einstein," and "...Planck's relationship M.O." E0, C2. In his 1907 paper in Physikalische Zeitschrift, where he used the equation E0. M0 C2 to calculate an elementary quantum of energy, i.e., the amount of energy related to the mass of an electron at rest. While working on his article, Einstein began a line of thought that would eventually lead to his generalized theory of relativity, which in turn became after its confirmation the start of Einstein's worldwide fame. This is ironic, given Stark's later work as an anti-Einstein and anti-relativity propagandist in the Deutsche Physik movement. Stark published more than 300 papers, mainly regarding electricity and other such topics. He received various awards, including the Nobel Prize, the Baumgartner Prize of the Vienna Academy of Sciences 1910, the Walbrick Prize of the Göttingen Academy of Sciences 1914, and the Matucci Medal of the Rome Academy. Probably his best-known contribution to the field of physics is the Stark effect, which he discovered in 1913. He married Louise Uepler, and they had five children. His hobbies were the cultivation of fruit trees and forestry. He worked in his private laboratory on his country estate in Upper Bavaria after the war. There he studied the deflection of light in an electric field. <laughs> <laughs> Affiliation with National Socialism During the Nazi regime, Stark attempted to become the Führer of German physics through the Deutsche Physik German physics movement along with fellow Nobel laureate Philip Leonard against the Jewish physics of Albert Einstein and Werner Heisenberg who was not Jewish. After Werner Heisenberg defended Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, Stark wrote an angry article in the SS newspaper Das Schwartz Korps, calling Heisenberg a white Jew. On August 21, 1934, Stark wrote to physicist and fellow Nobel laureate Max von Laue to tow the party line or else. The letter was signed off with, Heil Hitler. In his 1934 book Nationalsozialismus und Wissenschaft English, National Socialism and Science, Stark maintained that the priority of the scientist was to serve the nation. Thus, the important fields of research were those that could help German arms production and industry. 
He attacked theoretical physics as Jewish and stressed that scientific positions in Nazi Germany should only be held by pure blooded Germans. Writing in the official SS magazine Das Schwarzkorps, Stark argued that even if racial antisemitism was triumphant, it would only be a partial victory if Jewish ideas were not similarly defeated. We also have to eradicate the Jewish spirit, whose blood can flow just as undisturbed today as before if its carriers hold beautiful Aryan passes." In 1947, following the defeat of Germany in World War II, Stark was classified as a major offender and received a sentence of four years imprisonment later suspended by a denazification court. Topic. Publications. Die Entladung der Elektricität von Galvanisch Gluhender Kohl in Verdunthes Gas. Sonderabdruck aus Annalen der Physik und Chemie, Neue Folge, Band 68. Leipzig, 1899. Der elektrische Strom zwischen Galvanisch Gluhender Kohl und einem Metall durch Verdunthes Gas, Sonderabdruck aus Annalen der Physik und Chemie, Neue Folge, Band 68. Leipzig, 1899. Andering der Leitfähigkeit von Gassen durch einen städtischen elektrischen Strom, Sonderabdruck aus Annalen der Physik, 4. Folge, Band 2. Leipzig, 1900. Über den Einfluss der Erhitzung auf das elektrische Lüchten eines verdunten Gases, Sonderabdruck aus Annalen der Physik, 4. Folge, Band 1. Leipzig, 1900. Über elektrostatische Wirkungen bei der Entladung der Elektrizität in verdunten Gassen, Sonderabdruck aus Annalen der Physik, 4. Folge, Band 1. Leipzig, 1900. Kritische Bemerkungen zu der Mitteilung der Herren Osten und Stark über Kathodenstrahlreflexion. Sonderabdruck aus Verhandlungen der Deutschen Physikalischen Gesellschaft, Jergang 4, nr. 8. Braunschweig, 1902. Principien der Atomdynamik, 1. Thiel. Die Elektrischen Quanten, 1910. Schwierigkeiten für die Lichtquantenhypothese im Fall der Emission von Serielinien, Sonderabdruck aus Verhandlungen der Deutschen Physikalischen Gesellschaft, J.G. 16, Nr. 6. Braunschweig, 1914. Bemerking zum Bogen und Funkenspektrum des Heliums, Sonderabdruck aus Verhandlungen der Deutschen Physikalischen Gesellschaft, J.G. 16, nr. 10. Braunschweig, 1914. Folgerungen aus einer Valenzhypothese. 3. Natterliche Drehung der Schwingungsbein des Lichts, Sonderabdruck aus Backquote Jarbeck der Radioaktivität und Elektronik, Heft 2, Mai 1914, Leipzig, 1914. Methode zur Gleichzeitigen zur Legging einer Linie durch das elektrische und das magnetische Feld, Sonderabdruck aus Verhandlungen der Deutschen Physikalischen Gesellschaft, J.G. 16, nr. 7. Braunschweig, 1914 Die Gegenwartige Kreis der Deutschen Physik. The Thoroughgoing Crisis in German Physics. 1922 Natur der Chemischen Valenzkraft, 1922 Hitlergeist und Wissenschaft, 1924 Zusammen mit Philipp Leonard. Die Axialität der Lichtemission und Atomstruktur, Berlin 1927 Atomstruktur und Atombinding, A. Seidel, Berlin 1928 Atomstrukturelle Grundlagen der Stickstoffchemie, Leipzig, 1931 Nationalsozialismus und Katholische Kirche, National Socialism and the Catholic Church, 1931 National Socialismus und Catholische Kirche. 2. Thiel, Antwort auf Kunjbungen der Deutschen Biskaye, 1931. Nationale Erzeihung, 1932. National Socialismus und Wissenschaft. National Socialism and Science, 1934. The Pragmatic and the Dogmatic Spirit in Physics, Nature 141, p. 770 to 772, 1938. Physik der Atomoberflash, 1940. Judische und Deutsche Physik, Jewish and German Physics, with Wilhelm Müller, written at the University of Munich in 1941. Nationale Erzeihung, Zentrumscherschaft und Jesuitenpolitik, undated. Hitler's Zeal und Persönlichkeit, Hitler's Aims and Personality, undated. Topic notes. 
Topic References. Andreas Kleinert, Die Axialität der Lichtmission und Atomstruktur. Johannes Stark's Gegenentwurf zur Quantentheorie. In Astrid Sherman, Burgard Weiss, eds. Chemi, Kultur, Geschichte. Festschrift für Hans Werner Schutt and Laslich Sein 65. Gebertstiges. Berlin U. Diepholz 2002, pp. 213-222. External links Pictures of a Danish translation of Stark's Adolf Hitler, Aims and Personality Klaus Henschel ed., Physics and National Socialism an Anthology of Primary Sources, Berkhauser Verlag, Basel, 1996, 2. AUFL, 2011, ISBN 3034802021. Newspaper clippings about Johannes Stark in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.